With doubtnet, get instant video solutions to all your maths, physics, chemistry and biology doubts. Just click the image of the question, crop the question and get instant video solution. Download doubtnet app today. Hello everyone. There are three Newton's law of motion, namely 1, 2 and 3. We can derive. You have to check out of ABCD which option is the correct one. So, we know that uh, the Newton's, if I talk about the Newton's law, Newton's law, first, second and third. So, first law is about the inertia. So, what does it mean? It means that it says that uh, a body stay in motion with same speed and uh, in same direction unless a uh, unbalanced force acts on it. It means that to change the state of motion, unbalanced force is needed, right? To change the state of motion, what does it mean by state of motion? It means that changing velocity, changing the direction, changing both or, or changing the rest, state of rest, state of motion. What is needed here? The unbalanced force. So, if you see here, as we uh, uh, now we can move to the second law that is simply says that the force is nothing but rate of change of momentum and if the mass is constant, this will be m into dv by dt that is this. Is it the same? You can think uh, of the first law from this. Yes, because you, if you see. The acceleration is what? Acceleration is changing the velocity and changing the velocity is what? Changing the state of motion, right? State of motion is what? Changing the velocity, right? So, if you uh, write down it as uh, dv by dt is equals to f by m. So, unbalanced force is needed to change the velocity. Simple. Now, moving toward the third law, which, which is simply action reaction pair. Right, if you apply a force on something, for example, you took a block and uh, you, you push it in this direction. So, if you uh, apply a force F towards right, you will experience the same F force towards left. These two as a system, right, you could see there is no external force. And if there is no external force, so we can write down the momentum here will remain unchanged system momentum right since center of mass will not move so if i write down the individual momentum of the two as p1 and p2 so i will write down the net momentum of the system is equals to p1 vector plus p2 vector just differentiate both side so as i already mentioned you the system moment f1 vector plus f2 vector is equals to zero so from here you will get this equal and opposite force. So, we can see that the internal forces are equal and opposite forces, right? And uh, if you see here, we used the second equation, uh, second law of motion as well. So, you could see here, we use the second equation of motion, right? The F external is what? F external is M1 A1 plus M2 A2, right? So, we use this and uh, since the F external is zeros, the both will experience uh, equal and opposite forces. This is F1 and this is F, right? So, you can directly understand from here also, if F1 and F2, I say that zero. If you see F external is equals to the force experienced by the one, force experienced by the two is equals to zero. And since they, there are no other force than the acceleration pair. So, from here also you can see this. Right. So, now you can see here the first and the third law can be understood by the second law. So, B is the correct. Thank you. For class 6 to 12, ITG and NEET level. Trusted by more than 5 crore students. Download Doubt and App today.